Hello friends, you're once again with a lonesome gamer and still I'm playing Space Hulk. But I think we're coming to an end now because well, the Space Marines are in control of the map. This whole part, the right part of the map is completely controlled by just two Space Marines because he blocks these two entrances here and that guy blocks that entrance and that one down here. This upper entrance here is blocked by him while this one is blocked by him actually. So there's only this one entrance open and here we fight off wave after wave after wave so it becomes a little repetitive and a little boring. Uh, there might be some action down here they got to make it somehow around the corner which could be a little tricky because there is this one here and there might come up some others here into play but that's not sure right now and this might be some interesting situation but then I think we're pretty much done. Uh, the last thing which could be interesting is when we try to go back from the uh, to the transporter and uh, because then we have to leave our positions here and the entrances are open again and all the gene stealers could then uh, enter the Hulk and uh, so there might be some <clears throat> big last fight in the end. But remember the, the, the mission, uh, the victory condition of the mission is simply to bring one of these uh, missing space marines uh, to the teleporter and teleport him from the, from the Hulk. So even if, if the others, the starting space marines were killed, it's a complete success. So that shouldn't be too hard actually. Uh, the only reason why we have to to rescue this guy too is that this teleporter will be just uh, operationable if every stasis tank is deactivated. So that's why we have to go here. Okay, um, so we're starting again with the Space Marines now and we roll for the operation points. Uh, it's a 2 and I'm rolling again. Okay, this is a 1. This is not so good. So maybe he gets some problems now, but we will see that. Okay, um... Let's take the markers away first. And... He starts. Uh, he tries to shoot these three gene stealers. So he goes for the first one. And that's a miss. And then it's the second one. And that's a hit. That's good. And now he is already in trouble. He could, he could go into Overwatch now. But uh, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to do that. On the other hand, then I'm pretty sure killed. But then this guy could go into Overwatch. And I think that's good enough. I think we have enough time. Yeah, I think I'm going to risk that. So, I'm going to kind of sacrifice him. Uh, roll for the... But on the other hand, that's not necessary. I can also go into Overwatch. I don't know, maybe he can do it. And the other one will also go into Overwatch. Okay. <clears throat> so I got one command point left now. And let's see what these guys are doing. This is the interesting part. One, two, three, four, five. Well, they can't run around the corner and attack this one. This is simply not possible. So I guess... Hmm. 
Hmm. That is a little risky, actually. Okay, I guess I also go simply into Overwatch with this one. And this guy is moving closer here. And then we'll also go into Overwatch. Okay, and that's all I'm doing. Coming up now with the next blips. And they will both enter here, that's for sure. Let's see where this one goes. If he goes for them or if he goes for the other one. So actually he goes for these because they are further away and I rolled a 4-5 and on 1 to 4 they go for the closer one. So now he moves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and he stays there and now it's actually the the other one and let's see where he goes and he goes also for the other one okay so he moves here <clears throat> so let's now see um, these guys they're gonna attack probably in the next turn it's a one two three four five six and this guy is an overwatch so let's see he attacks only on a six and that is a six <clears throat> so this guy will attack now it's one and he can turn around two and then it's three and he turns around again and now he can be shot at. So let's see and that's a hit right away. So he's killed. Okay. And then it's these two guys and they are gonna attack now. It's the first one And he shoots. Oh god, that's a problem. His weapon jammed. So that was the first movement. And then they move on. Just like that. The second movement. And actually he doesn't have to he doesn't have to unjam his weapon. It's not necessary because now he's attacked. It's the third action of the Gene Stealers. They attack him. And that's a six here. So now the other one has to make a six to make it even. And now he's killed. That's a little sad because he did a real good job during this game. But okay, we've lost him now. I mean, it's the end. Uh, in the end, it's the destiny of every Space Marine, isn't it? So, we're now with three command points, and now it's the fourth action points for these guys, and he can shoot. That's a miss. It's the fifth action point. He shoots again, and another miss. Okay. And then, <clears throat> the last action point, and this time it's a hit. Okay, so he was killed. And as I said, we've lost one Space Marine, but it's not that bad. I think he should easily kill him or and uh, then this, this corridor is still under his control. So let's see how many action, uh, how many command points I have. Five, this is very good. <clears throat> so I'm gonna mark that here. Now the markers are removed once again. And now he shoots. He tries to kill him. That's a miss. First action. 
Second action, and that's a hit. That's pretty good. Because now you can simply go into Overwatch. <clears throat> And uh, now we have five command points left. And I wonder if it's enough to to do an attack here. One, two, three, four. I think it's a little too risky. One, two, three. Wait a minute, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would have been two command points, and then ah, that's risky. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move with him probably here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So we got to spend one command point here. And then he goes into Overwatch. And that's another two command points. So now he's here. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to risk that. One, two, three, four. So he moves right here, and he now also goes into Overwatch. So we spend our last two command points here. They're both in Overwatch, and well, we gotta be a little lucky here. This might be maybe the the last really interesting. Uh, part of the game now. If they survive this, I think the game is won. If not, it might be go on for a while. But well, then it could be really, really hard to win. So that might be the 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 critical turn of the whole game, actually, in the end. So um, it's one, two, three, four. This guy is in Overwatch, and it says. Normally, we would attack only on a 4, but because there are two blips now, they will attack. That's absolutely sure. And we got to reveal them. So this is one. That's pretty lucky here. Just one guy like this. And the other one is two. Okay. Well, that could have been worse. But still, it's pretty risky. And I forgot I can draw two more blips, by the way. And they're going to enter here, too. So, um, the question is now... The first one might... Uh, wait a minute, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Okay, so they are the closer ones now. On a 1 to 4, they will go for them. That's a one. So that's what they're going to do. And the other one also. So. And they will enter. So they will reveal. That's three. And that's again three. So that is pretty tough, actually. So. Okay, we place them here. And they will come into play a little later. And now we start this here. So he moves like this. That's his first point. And then like that. That's the second point. And they also follow him. Just like that. Okay. And then he can shoot. So this is really important now. That's a miss. Okay. And now they're coming closer.
and that is then the third action point. And now actually it's this guy. And he can shoot now because he can see him now and he needs a 6 to hit. And that is bad because his gun jammed and it's not a hit. So this is like that. And the other one, he needs a 5 or a 6 now and that should... Well this, this should work now, otherwise I think this game is lost. And yes, he did it. Great. Okay, that was very important. So he killed him, but we're not done here yet. Absolutely not. Okay. Um, so that was actually two movement points. And then this guy can spend one no he can't spend any command points because there are no command points left okay so his gun is still jammed so he's got to be amazingly lucky now he needs a six to make it and this is actually the third movement point of these gene sailors so he rolls and <laughs> he has got a six unbelievable He's really lucky. So he's killed and now it's the fourth movement point and if he rolls a six now these men are great. But it's not done. Let's see. This is close. No. He didn't make it. So now with the fifth movement point he's got to go into close combat. And, well, I'm afraid this could be bad. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Only a three for the gene stealer. So there is a realistic chance that he can survive this in close combat. And that would be then really the absolute climax of this game. If he could kill this last gene stealer in close combat. That would be unbelievable. And that's a three. So it's even. So there's one last one last attack he's got. So he can roll again the gene stealer. And it's a four. So there is still a chance, a 50-50 chance that he might actually survive the second close combat. This is unbelievable. Let's see. And man, it's, it's so great. He did it. He killed this guy in close combat. <laughs> oh my god. What a game. Okay. And so now we're not done completely here, but that was important. And now the other ones can enter the Hulk. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they go like this, actually. And it's one, two, three, four, five, four. And the last one goes then right here. Okay. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Okay. It's, well, let's see what happens. First of all, these tokens are removed. And then we need lots of command points. That should be, that's important. That's a four. And I'm gonna keep that. It's a little risky, but... Oh my god. Puh. This is tough. Okay, so we got four command points now. Yeah. I'm gonna... I 
think I'm going to try to do this. Let me see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, he can't run for it. He's too slow for that. He could go here and try to shoot all these. One, two. This is this is pretty crazy, actually. But I don't know what else to do. I got to be honest here. We have to try that. I mean, there is no other way, actually. So I'm going to move here one and two, and then I'm going to shoot this guy first. And that's a miss. And then I got my third action point, and that's a hit. Okay. Then I'm gonna go for. This is bad. It really is. Okay, I'm gonna go for one. Well, I don't know. I mean, I have to. I have to try it. I'm gonna take the next action point. And great. I was lucky here. I killed a second one. So that was now my wait a minute, one, two, th one, two. Then I shot. Then I shot again and I killed him. That was so that was my fourth action point now. So now this is my first command point. And I'm gonna shoot again. This time I'm gonna shoot at this guy actually. Two, three. Doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna shoot at this guy. And that's a miss. And I'm gonna spend another command point and try it again. And that's another miss. This is bad. And now I have to go into Overwatch. And I'm gonna spend my last two command points doing this. This guy now moves here, one, two, turns around, and he also goes into Overwatch. So, yeah, that's a critical place. This corner here is really, it's really difficult. And then it's him. And I can't go from behind because I have to block these en these entrances. Otherwise, uh, here is one blip and he will right be after me. So I have to stay here. And uh, okay, so let's see. Now it's the it's the Gene Stealers once again. Okay, we have two more blips, and these two blips also go for these two. Space Marines there. So now it's going to be very hard. He's in Overwatch and he's attacked actually by this guy now. He moves here and he shoots. That's a miss. Now he moves here. Well, at the same time, this guy actually moves here. That one here. That one here. And the blips are also moving. Well, that one stays here for now. And so now, he needs to roll a 5 or he's in trouble. And he's in trouble. His gun is jammed, by the way. So he's definitely in trouble. Now, I don't know. I got the feeling now it's the end of this guy. So we roll. Now that's a 5 for the gene stealer. And it's a five for him. Do you believe that? So, actually we had now three points for the gene stealer. And what he can do now is, he can unjam his weapon. No, he can't because we don't have any command points left. So there are three more attacks for the gene stealer now. And I have really my doubts that he can survive that. Okay this one will actually move here 
that one here and that one here and this one moves here so and then that's the next attack okay that's a six so yeah that's it he's killed he fought bravely but now he's killed and I don't know maybe I made an error here but I think maybe I'm now gonna lose this I don't know it's really hard to say um, hmm. so they're just four survivors this guy is completely useless useless he's pretty much fixed on his position and he is too so I think it's now just a question of time um, but he's he's banded now four action points so now it's his fifth action he moves here this guy is an overwatch and he shoots that's a miss and guess what his weapon jammed oh my god and then it's the sixth action and that's basically it so now in this turn I got four command points what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to shoot this guy that's a miss I'm gonna shoot a second time that's another miss and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go now in this kind of ready for combat status so that gives me a little higher chances when fighting these gene stealers hand to hand and but before I do this I spend one command point and I shoot again and that's another miss Oh my god. And I mean okay the the goal of the mission is to rescue this guy. So I kind of have to risk it all. I mean it doesn't make any sense now to block any more entrances. Uh, I can't stay there. So I have to move. And now this is 2 3 4. <laughs> Yeah, and one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I'm going to spend two more command points and go into Overwatch with this guy. And then it's him. Well, and he, uh, he goes back too, he tries to help, turns around, it takes two points, and then he goes here. But uh, I think there are no more chances actually. So, now it's the Gene Stealers, again two more blips. And now these entrances are no longer blocked. So, let's see where these blips enter well one enters here and the other one enters down here okay so let's start with that one the closest one is this guy so on a one to four he moves here let me see yeah and this one is out of reach so it's it's for sure he moves this way so it's one, two, three, four, five, six actually. And one, two, three. Well, he's gonna move after these these guy moved. So let's see, he might go even after either after him or after him. They're both within reach. So on a five or six. 
he will try to attack this one. He doesn't, he goes that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's right here, right behind him. And uh, the other one, he goes also that way. One, two, three, four. He stays here. And this guy, one, two, three, four, five. He goes here. So basically, uh, I think there's no no more chance now. So they're gonna attack him in close combat. And that's a four. And now the thing is, because he is in this special um, special mode in this close combat mode, he can, I think, roll the dice a second time if he wants to, but I got to check that. Exactly that what happened. So, he needs at least a 4. That is possible, actually. Yeah, he did it. So he killed this guy. But then it's him. And he moves here. First action point, and now it's the second action point. Okay, I mean, two sixes, a five, that would be a wonder if he could make it even. So he rolls once, and now a second time, and well, it's a six. So he is still alive. But it's another attack now, it's the third action point of the Gene Stealer. Oh, look at that. It's just a two, so he might win this fight too. No, not like that. Can do it once again. Oh gosh, it's also just a two. So he's still alive, but that was a good chance to win. And then it's the fourth action point. I mean, it's unbelievable how long this guy is fighting the gene stealer. And that's a six once again. So he rolls. Ah, it's a four. And then another one. Okay, that's his. He's ripped apart in the end, and I guess that's it. Okay, and now the others obviously go for him. So they reveal, these are three gene stealers, oh my god. And these are, this is one gene stealer, okay. So we're gonna place them like this. And there is one. And now all these gene stealers, they haven't moved until now, so they can. So actually, this guy starts now with his first turn, or basically we can take one from behind. So that is his first turn. And that's a hit. Okay. And it's the second point now. <laughs> Another hit. But the weapon jammed. This is very, very bad. Because there are no... Well, actually, there is one command point left. This is good. So now, it's the third action. And he has to spend this command point to unjam his weapon. And now it's the fourth action. Just like this. And he rolls again, and that's another hit. Well, actually, I'm rolling good, no doubts here. Fifth one is coming here. A miss. And the last action point now is this one. And that's a hit. So, but 
I mean now we're, it's a bloody finale. I think this guy will get ripped apart in the next turn. Uh, <laughs> there's not a lot he can do. If he had a big bomb, the best thing would be to, to kill himself in a big explosion, but... Well, basically there is nothing he can do. Okay. So now I'm rolling for command points, and I got four command points. Huh. I don't know, I can try to run for it somehow. So, I'm going here, one. And I'm shooting. And that's a hit. Great. Two sixes. So I killed this guy. And it's the second one. And I'm shooting again. That's a miss. Number three. And a shot. And that's a hit. So I managed to kill these two. And then it's four. Five. Six. So actually I had to spend now two of these. Oh man. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well. And I simply will turn around. Spend another one. And then I think I'm gonna stay there. One. Let's see. Oh, come on. Two, three, four. Okay, we will see. Um, so then this guy is moving here. One, two, three, four. And why not go for the last one? And there's not a lot he can do. He can try to block this entrance here, but he's pretty useless actually. So now it's the Gene Steelers once again. Two more blips for them. So now this entrance is no longer blocked. That means we can reveal this or them. And we got now three gene stealers down here. Three. And then we're going to reveal at least one of them. So there is another gene stealer right here. And uh, we brought a blip into play here and another one up there. So let's see. So this blip is going after him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And uh, well, pretty obvious. This guy is going after him. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then this guy is turning around. And because there are all these three other gene stealers in the back here, he's going to attack right away. It's one, two, three. Four, five, and uh, well, then we go into close combat once again. That's a four, so the Space Marine needs a four at least. That's a two, so he's killed now two. Okay, well, maybe we should have done this before we moved all these, but who cares now actually. And now these three move and they move one, two, three, four, five, six. They go for him, of course, like that. And like this. And now we just have to bring this to an end. Okay. 
And he's got no weapon, so he's simply prey. I mean, it's just running flash, nothing else anymore. And yeah, okay. So I think I'm just gonna show you the dead of the of the Space Marines and not all the action now because uh, pff, it's not very interesting. See them running here through the uh, through the corridors. Okay, so now actually this guy here got killed, pretty simple, and now it's him, and this is the last stand. He's pretty much surrounded by blips and uh, by gene stealers. So he's now in this closed combat, ready for closed combat status, and uh, he's got the Com, uh, the sergeant bonus because he's very experienced so this gives him a plus one and then he's got this hammer which gives him another plus one further on he's got a shield and uh, that allows the gene stealers just to use two of their dice so the first gene stealer will attack now uh, that's a four and then the sergeant can roll and he's got a one Okay, and he can roll again because of this. Let's see. And that's also a 4. So, he survived that attack, but the gene stealer 2. Let's go for another one. And that's again a 4 for the gene stealer. And the sergeant has a 2. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. Yeah. I'm not sure. No, I could add two, of course. So the gene stealer was killed in the attack before. Because I can add two. I forgot that. And now they attack him once again. So it's another one. So that's two for the gene stealer. And he can add two. So he's dead. Anyway. And then it's the next one. One, two. So let's go for the attack. That's a five for the gene stealer and the sergeant. Well, he killed him too. Okay, and then we can reveal this blip. This is one, and it's one, two, three, four. And there's going to be another attack now. That's a six. So the sergeant needs now at least a 4. That's a 1. So now you can roll again and that's a 5. So he killed that one too. And uh, well that's basically it. Now this one is revealed. We have 2 here. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just like that. We'll we stay here. And then uh, we reveal this one. It's one. One, two, three, four. And he's attacked again. That's a five, so the sergeant needs a three. And now he was successful, but he's just turned around because he's got to face this guy to kill him. And there's another attack now. That's just a two, and yeah. So this guy is already dead, so he's really a good fighter. And these are three gene stealers now, so let's see. Okay. Come on. Okay. So the first one has actually. Now it's the second point, his second action point for the attack. And that's a six. Okay. And that's a one. This is not enough for the sergeant. 
and the second one and yeah that was a success so now he's actually turned around and there's another black by the jeans dealer that's a three and yeah the sergeant killed him this guy is tough one two and then an attack that's a five yeah, sergeant killed him with a 5-2. And it's 1-2-3. Another 5 for the gene stealer. Yeah, okay. So, sergeant survived this. He's amazingly strong. The problem is he somehow has to has to fight his way through here and well, it's not very likely that he can do this. And uh, well the sergeant moved a little bit down here trying to get like this which is completely ridiculous and he has to stop all the time because he has to go in the special combat mode otherwise he wouldn't have a chance I'm afraid. So roll again. That's a six for the gene stealer. And the sergeant has a five, so he's turned around. Another attack. A three. And yeah, he's turned around again. And it's another attack. That's another three. So he's also killed. Now it's one, two, and another attack. Well, this is actually getting pretty boring because it is clear that they have no chance. Okay, he's killed. One, two, three. Okay. He's attacking once again. And that's just a one. So maybe he dies. Actually, I hope he does. Yes, no fake here. Sergeant is killed. And yeah. Okay, in the end, it was simply boring because uh, we just had to wait until he died. So now that the Gene Steelers won this game, I gotta be honest, it was a surprising experience to me because first of all I didn't expect it to be so long it's now my longest session at all I with seven videos or so and I thought it was would have been one of my shortest so because normally Space Hulk is a short game and I'm not sure maybe it's because of my tactics that I blocked every entrance so that only one or two Space Marines had to move through the whole ship and free the others that that could be the point I'm not so sure about that I was also surprised how close it was I mean there were really situations when I thought I had everything under control and then the gene stealers came back and that was a very very positive surprise I I really thought this game was done and then it changed completely and that was great and I really enjoyed this so there were fantastic moments but there were also times there were also down times I mean it's it's maybe part of the game concept when you're standing there and you control a corner and they're they're coming waves and waves of gene stealers and you just kill them and kill them and kill them and there is nothing else happening so there were moments when it's when it's quite boring especially if you if you try to to video this then well sometimes you think okay who wants to see this if you play it for yourself it's okay it's not too bad after all and these these special moments they were really worth it i mean these were moments that i will remember it, in one or two weeks these were really uh, these were really good things and uh, so basically I think this game works really fine 
solo. It's a it's a really good solitaire game. Um, I think that I changed the rules is a good thing. If the especially the rules where these where the gene stealers fall move all at the same time. If everyone would move individually, it's nearly impossible for them to to make it through the long corridors. So I think that's uh, that's something that improves the gameplay. And uh, when you play solitaire. So finally, um, the problem with this game is that it's terribly expensive. It's about two or three hundred bucks right now. And uh, is it worth it? I don't know. If you love the miniatures and if you love to paint miniatures, then I think it is worth it. Then I think it's, it's really great. The miniatures are very beautiful. The bases could be a little bigger maybe, but the miniatures are great. Um, and the rest of the components is just beyond the scale. It's just amazing. Um, on the other hand, if you're not such a fan of miniatures, I don't know, or of painting miniatures, I think it's it's not really worth it. There are other games where you have this asymmetric gameplay with one faction with many, many, many um, uh, monsters, weak monsters, and uh, another faction with a few strong characters with some special abilities. For example, um, Claustrophobia could be really an interesting game um, if you like these kind of games and it's not that expensive and its components are also just absolutely amazing. So, uh, well, I don't know. If you got enough money to buy this, I think it's a great game. It plays good solo, it works. It's even better if you play it with another person, of course. But, uh, well, I like it. Uh, I'm happy that I bought it, as long as it wasn't too expensive. And I wanted to show you how I play it. So I hope you liked it too, and it wasn't too boring for you sometimes. Um, yeah, see you maybe in one of my next videos. Uh, by the way, there is this... If you like the theme and you can't afford the game, there is also a card game uh, that you'll probably know. It's uh, Space Hulk Death Angel and it has a few expansions. And it's also designed for one player. So uh, I will make a review of that or a session report of that uh, definitely in, in one of my other videos. So maybe see you then and uh, yeah, bye.